What's up everyone? Today we're learning lessons from a super impressive dude. This guy right here is Chris Hadfield. He's a former astronaut and fighter pilot. He made a music video in space which went viral and he wrote this book, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth which is how I actually found him. Now that short intro doesn't even scratch the surface of what this guy has accomplished. So please believe me when I say he's so much more than a Ned Flanders in space. Now aside from his legendary mustache, this guy has an amazing perspective. And through his book, we're fortunate enough to get a glimpse into some of the wisdom that Chris has garnered over his extraordinary life. So let's learn from him. Lesson one, sweat the small stuff. Saying that Chris Hadfield is prepared is an understatement. He has contingencies for everything. And then he has contingencies for his contingencies. As an astronaut, there is no room for error because an error could mean death. And Chris has expanded this attitude into his normal life. What I learned from Chris is that being prepared is the single best defense you have for any bad situation. It really doesn't matter what your predicament is and it doesn't mean that you have to live your life in perpetual fear in fact, it's actually quite the opposite. By knowing what can go wrong and being prepared for it, you can feel a whole lot better knowing that you're ready for whatever comes your way. Exerting a small amount of effort can save you a major inconvenience in the future. So plan, think of the small things that can go wrong and be confident in the fact that you'll be able to deal with them if they do. Lesson two, competence creates confidence. Now this kind of links to the first lesson, but I think it's worth noting separately. Now I noticed this from listening to Chris's audiobook, but also from watching some of his interviews. Chris has a certain charisma in the way he presents himself that isn't overpowering, but you are aware that he is a powerful presence in the room. Now I don't mean that in an alpha male, do it for Du Bois kind of way. I just mean that he seems like a cool, calm and collected individual who seems to have every situation that he's in under control. From everything I read and heard about the guy, I started to think to myself, well, why wouldn't he? I mean, the guy prepares to the max and works extremely hard. What could possibly shake this guy in normal life? He has skills that cover fields such as engineering, science, music, medicine, maths, mechanics. And on top of all that, he's had to remain in peak physical condition for his time as an astronaut. The point is he's extremely competent in many useful fields of life. And because of this, he can be calm and confident and live in the moment without worrying and being anxious about everything. So for average folk like us, I think we could all benefit from improving in those areas that make us most anxious. We should try to figure out what it is that scares us most and work solely on trying to improve in that area. By all means, I'm not saying that it's easy to do, but what I am saying is that by looking at Chris, it seems to me like the more competent you are, the more confident you are. So work towards improving your skills in whatever area makes you most anxious. Lesson three, collaboration plus being humble. Yes, yes, I know, I mixed two together to make one lesson. Sue me. I just feel like these two go really well together and it's really hard to have one without the other. Chris, in all his interviews and in his book, talks about being humble and is aware of just how fortunate he is to be in the position he's in. And despite his achievements, he still finds it in himself to be appreciative of all those around him. Inflated ego is a surefire way of making your life unnecessarily complicated. And if we're being honest, Chris didn't get himself to space. I mean, his wife did, his colleagues did, his teachers did, the people that built the space shuttle did. Space travel is the single biggest example of how being humble and collaborating can lead to magical or inspiring outcomes. Chris has seen from the grandest perspective currently possible just how dependent we are on each other. Regardless of how amazing you are, just remember that you haven't done it entirely on your own, even if you think you have. So be humble and collaborate because together we can go so much further and achieve so much more than we could on our own. The link to Chris Hadfield's astronomically brown biography is in the description below. Check it out guys. I'll see you next week. All I hear go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let him.